So I just wanted to take a quick moment and show you what I've been working on in Blender. It's been quite a while since I sat down and created anything in the Blender program, so it's been kind of fun getting back in and uh, getting reacquainted with the software. Uh, but here's what, I, here's what I'm doing. I started with an image, which was, if I can find it here real quick, uh, reference image, I don't know, let me see, let's open it up in a window. Here we go, here we go, here we go. If I can figure out my way around here again, here's an image editor and let's open up the mushroom. So here's the image that I started with. It up in the top right corner, this is the logo image I painted in Photoshop, uh, just as a kind of starting logo for the Foxfire Media Company. In fact, I started the uh, design for Foxfire Films and then have kind of adapted it for my purposes here. So I wanted to mimic this design in Blender with a 3D creation and uh, try to put it in some kind of scene. Here's the scene that I've come up with. I want it to be glowing in the dark. And uh, so I've got this tree that it's kind of growing out of, which right now it looks like it's just oddly connected to. I need to figure out a way to make it look more organically connected to the tree. Uh, but I've got particles that are kind of going up that are gonna glow. And let me just show you real quick what uh, the animation looks like currently. Start in a spooky forest, glide down to reveal a magic uh, forest underbrush. And then, uh, so I've got to work on the particles. As you can see, they're just shooting straight up into the air. I want them to be floating around almost like fireflies, uh, almost some kind of magic mist. And then I want to add a couple more uh, of these mushrooms just kind of scattered around perhaps in the background growing out of different trees and such. And then I really want to put some grass in there to give it some more texture and just to make it kind of come alive a little bit. And like I said, this area right down in here where the mushroom connects to the tree, I need to do some kind of work to make it look a little more organic there. So anyway, that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, just to break down what's going on behind the scenes. I've got, uh, let's go to my, while I am in the layout window. Let me pull up the layout. I've got my ground here. This box is my volume, so my fog effects. And then I have this forest with the tree. And then I just have a really very basic uh, tree stump coming out with a little bit of texture and a uh, bark type material applied to it. I don't love it. I, I might go back and try to do some work on it or find a stock tree that I can grab and use the trunk from in order to make this look a little better, but we'll see what happens. I'm, it's not terrible right now for what I'm doing. It's kind of hidden and dark in the final rendered version anyway, so it's not uh, entirely bad. Yeah, so here's the scene kind of from different angles, fully rendered. Uh, Maybe I'll break down what I did to kind of color and texture paint my mushroom at some other time. But uh, right now, that's uh, the Foxfire Media glow-in-the-dark mushroom. I'll tell you the story about Foxfire maybe some other time. But uh, for now, that's it. Just wanted to give you an update on what's going on with me.